What's up everyone? Welcome back to another CGC unboxing video. Um, this is a modern tier unboxing. I uh, got this back earlier this week. It is uh, Saturday night right now. And there are 10 books in here, a uh, modern tier. So it's everything from 1975 present. And CGC messed up in my favor. Um, which is good and bad because then it also means what's going on over there because what's up with my other stuff that's in queue but uh, I mailed this out September 27th that's when I mailed it they received it October 3rd I believe something like that or that's when it, it said on the uh, on the tracking that they received it and then they shipped it out on 10 7 21 and it is now 10 I'm sorry I received it on 10 7 21 which means they mailed it out like 10 4 or 10 5 or something like that so they uh, did this in like record time even faster than the walkthrough uh, because I also submitted a walkthrough and express and this made it back before and it's 10 books too it's not even just one so I mean, good for me, um, sucks for some of the other, you know, uh, things that are in queue, but it also means what the heck's up with my other ones that were there since July. So anyway, uh, let's go uh, through these and then see how I did. Okay, so here's the box. I uh, did a little editing there. Let's pull these out one at a time. Um, you know, a lot of these are obviously going to be specs and keys. Uh, it's all we do around here. But let's start with these uh, couple of the older ones here. Or let's go with like the, the these uh, specs that are like right now, keys right now. Um, a couple of these are from current movies that are uh, you know uh, coming out. These I didn't do too well. Um, I got these for relatively cheap, so I didn't, uh, I just submitted because they're keys and maybe, you know, maybe if they go up a little bit, I'll flip them when they come out. But the first one is uh, obviously Eternals number one, you can see here, uh, it's a 6.5. Um, this one I didn't really, man, I feel like I just uh, <clears throat> didn't pay attention to this bottom part because there was a lot of bad stuff here. However, I only paid total with pressing and everything it's like 60 bucks total so 6.5 I could probably you know probably get rid of this right now for like 100 or something like that I'll, I'll probably get rid of this you know a week or two before the movie comes out um, but just so we'll see here like I paid uh, okay sorry I paid 77 for this and the current uh, rate on this right now uh, FMV is 155 and uh, <clears throat> as a refresher the what I, my cost is the cost of the book, pressing, cleaning, shipping, insurance, slab grade, all that, taxes. So this one uh, will be gone pretty pretty soon. I'm just gonna get my money and move on to something else with that. Uh, this next book is also another one from the same movie. And you can see here, it's Eternals number three, the first appearance of Cersei. Uh, now, this one I'm a little bit more um, <clears throat> big on because I think we're going to see a lot of Cersei in the future. So this will be something I, you know, I have a few of these, but this is probably one of the worst ones I got in there, but um, I didn't pay that much. It's a 7.5 and I paid $73 for it and it's about $65. So it's, it's like net ne uh, neutral. However, the closer the movie comes out. Um, even maybe after if they find out that she's more of a main character this will see a little bit of a spike so I, I have two or three more that are on their way they're in the queue that are much higher grades and one of them I think is a nine it's a nine eight candidate but it'll probably come back nine six because it's an older book there's probably gonna they're probably gonna find some kind of like tanning boxing whatever you want to say from the 70s books uh, that's gonna keep it from being a nine eight but uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably nine six uh, okay, so the the next couple ones, uh, these are these are really 
going to be specs unless something something big comes out from uh, the movie. And this is like just the rumors. And anyone who's into the, you know, reading uh, co the comics, the Eternals knows about their lore and everything. They kind of form like Captain Planet or in this case, Unimind. So for anybody who plays Heroclix who follows, um, the rumor is we will see Unimind formed. And, you know, there are some things that show you in the trailers that uh, it could be coming. But um, I got two of them right here. Show you real quick. See, that's the first appearance of Unimind. That's Unimind right there popping. They, they basically channel all their cosmic energy and they form this guy. Um, I do have... There are two different versions of this that I have. One is a Whitman variant, and you'll see right here. But uh, the first one came back a 9.2, and the next one, a little bit better, bam, a 9.4. So these are, uh, right now, they're, they're kind of trending, which is interesting. I wonder how many people are on the uh, idea on this train that uh, it, uh, uh, Unimine's coming, because I have a few of these already. Maybe this is like my Maybe I think I have five of these already, and I only try to get the high high grade ones. And these haven't, you know, they're not that much. Uh, I paid sixteen sixty one dollars respectively, and the nine two right now goes for one hundred and three, and the nine four goes for one hundred twenty five. But uh, if, as you can see here, do you see the little price variant? Or not the price variant, but it just looks different here versus here. This I believe is the Whitman variant. I have to double check. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is, but I know there's a difference. It's not, um, you know, they're both newsstand. It's just, you can see it's the, the price on the uh, cover price are the same. It's just the design of the top uh, left corner is a little bit different. So um, if anybody knows like what the Whitman, vari Whitman variant is and like what the, uh, the scarcity or rarity that is compared to regular, you know, the non Whitman variants, um, comment below because I'm interested to see it because I've seen a couple of other Whitman variants for other books. So, all right. Uh, this next one, not, it's not really anything. It's just, I wanted to get the 10 books out there and I had this, I got this as part of another lot. Um, it's, it's machine man number one. Uh, who knows? Maybe they might do something with this guy, but, uh, I got in a lot because machine man seven, six or seven has, the first prince of the power broker so when that came out i got like a full lot but they were pretty high grade um this one came back 9.2 which is really good uh you know i i would have been happy with that and that forward would have been nice but you know it it was just a kind of like a toss in because i really paid for that one so this one um i paid 33 dollars and it's this is right now uh, FMV's fifty four dollars. So, yeah, whatever. I'll probably hang on to that. See if you know if anything happens with Machine Man. Uh, so the next one is the second appearance of Scott Lang Ant Man, uh, which is Marvel premiere number forty eight. Number forty seven is in grading right now, and. Uh, you know, it. I got this before that, which is interesting. But uh, you can see, came back in 9.0, which is pretty good. This was another one of those. I got the number 47, which is the, the first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man. Not the first appearance of Scott Lang that's in Avengers. Uh, but if, you know, uh, the first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man at number 47 is starting to go up a little bit. So this is like the next best thing, obviously. And um, this is... This was again like a throw in when I, I got the lot. I wanted number 47 and 48 came with it. So this one, um, I paid 60 bucks for it and it's set 37. So, it, you know, a little down, but this will uh, go up as it gets closer to uh, Ant-Man and Wasp Quantumania. And then at that point, I'm just gonna move this even for whatever, just to break even or something. Maybe, maybe it'll get to like close to hundred bucks and I'll make something off of it. But, um, the next one's another, it's another key, and it's the first appearance of James Rhodes, which is Iron Man number 118. Um, it's not him in the iron, it's not him in the War Machine armor, it's just him, uh, by, you know, as himself. 
and you can see it's right here. Invincible Iron Man. It's it says Invincible Iron Man, but it's like it says Iron Man on there because Invincible Iron Man is like another title, even though it says it there. Anyway, um, this one I was pretty happy with. Came back in 9.2. This one's starting to see an uptick because the the more news that we get on Armor Wars, on War Machine, on Don Cheadle, and that whole that whole storyline, the more this is gonna get hyped up. Um, and I paid $95 for this, and the current FMV on this is $110. Uh, and just so you guys know, I, I use GP analysis as my source for all of these. Because those are, it's but you know, that's probably the best, most accurate for all of these. But then again, you never know because sometimes it take they, they have a delay on their uh, sales because I think you know they still got to go through the verification verification process to make sure it's legit and whatnot so I use them even though I do have cover price and um, go collect as well I just use GP analysis because it's just the simplest one for me okay and this next one is uh, oh it's a pretty this one's a pretty good one I am um, I didn't realize I sent this one in but this is the first solo story of or solo I guess not solo story but this where it's a uh, him in the title it's a solo basically they turned Marvel Spotlight into the Moon Knight uh, comic and this is Marvel Spotlight 28 which is yeah like I said and uh, this has been trending really high uh, obviously because of the show and boom came back 8.5 this one I did not I I was hopeful it would be over an 8 or an 8 or more and so I'm happy with 8.5 I paid 367 for this and the, the uh, current MFV is 543 dollars so and it's still going up because we haven't even gotten a trailer or any kind of like set photos of Oscar Isaac and you know anything so once that does this is gonna start going up so <clears throat> that's that's a that's a good one to, to keep you know for probably another year or two uh, depending on whether or not they're gonna do another season of Moon Knight or if Moon Knight's gonna persist but at the very earliest I'm gonna sell it uh, the, er the earliest I would sell it would be the when the show comes out okay so the next one is it's a it's a spec and a key because the spec is this character. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors out there. Um, it's one of those Mephisto things, but in like uh, the cosmic side is this Pip is supposed to show up in Eternals or Pip is supposed to show up at some point on the Marvel Universe. Uh, and the rumors are that it's, he's gonna show up on uh, at the end credits of Eternals. So, um, Strange Tales number 179, First Prince of Pip, has been trending way up recently. And I was really happy for this one because I didn't think this was going to be higher than an 8. And uh, it came back at 9.2, which I think either I was just really not worried about, or really worried about the, the spine here. Uh, and my, because I mean, I could see they're pretty significant, but I mean, I guess that's why it's a 2, 9.2. But, I mean, my, my presser and cleaner, I guess, really did a good job because this 9.2 came back. Uh, I was really happy. I'm really happy because uh, I paid $96 for this, and right now it's $370. So this is this one is um, the uh, highest uh, percent increase that I've uh, that I've gotten, only because you know 9.2. Because I was thinking it'd be an eight, which then it would be almost like a net neutral. But if if and when uh, Pip shows up at Eternals, oh man, get ready for that because you know the Pip's gonna show up somewhere. Because uh, I I want to say James Gunn was the one who was like talking about that, and James Gunn's always that he's that guy that always brings up the weird characters and whatnot. If you look at Guardians, yeah, just look at that team, right? There's a freaking rocket and a tree, a rocket raccoon and a tree, and then you look at Suicide Suicide Squad, you know, Rat Catcher and King Shark, but. All right, moving on. The last book here. This one I'm really happy of uh, about because when I got this on eBay, I thought I overpaid a little bit. But then I was like, man, if this was a, if it is a 9.8, then um, really good. But then if it doesn't turn out this way, then it's kind of bad. But um, this is Avengers Unplugged number five, the first appearance of 
Monica Rambeau as Photon right there. So if she's Photon, this is the book to get. If she's Spectrum, it's Mighty Avengers number one. That's the book to get. However, because this is older than that, harder to get, and it's kind of like not that, um, I guess you could say prevalent, like out there in like high grade, because I don't know how many people really care for this. Uh, getting this in really high grade is, is really good. So boom, this came back in 9.8. Really happy about that. Uh, more than doubled my investment for sure. And this has been trending up. Uh, they also have an announcement that Monica Rambo possibly have a show on Disney Plus, which means maybe we'll see her as Photon, or maybe she'll be Photon into Spectrum. Either way, maybe if they cover both ends, then we're golden. But I paid $124 for this, and it's at $280, so it's more than doubled. So the last two books have been really good. I'm really happy that this one came back 9.8 because I did not think this, I mean, I was hopeful to be 9.8, but I guess I'm also very um, conservative and just very critical when it comes to seeing any kind of problem. And, uh, you know, there was a problem that I, I, I saw in here. Oh, uh, what is that? Okay, I thought that was a crack. Oof, it's not. But, yeah, because I could see the bindery tears on the back seems like a little bit more excessive than they're allowed but I guess not so this is 9.8 perfect okay so now look at the financials here I spent a total of $1,048 and the FMV right now as of October 10th or October 9th $1,841 so I am up potentially $793 um, which is pretty good because I think uh, a few of these have a chance to go up, especially the eternal stuff. Because if they do, if you know, mine does show up, then there's going to be a spike in this eternals number 12 that's going to go, you know, easily a couple hundred bucks. And then uh, if the movie's good, eternals one will still go up, and which also means that you want to hold it for longer term because if they're going to do an eternals two or if they're going to cross over with Avengers, it's, it's just good to hold on to it. But if you feel like it's not and the hype will build a little bit and I'm gonna just move it if it gets closer to the uh, you know gets closer to the movie uh, and Eternals number three if Cersei is going to be a main character going forward in Avengers and you know let's say they explore the Black Knight and Cersei relationship which is you know in the comics they're they're an item they're a couple then that should go up even more and then obviously the first appearance of James Rhodes uh, when he comes with armor that's going to go up so that that has room to grow and then obviously marvel spotlight 28 that has room to grow as well and then the moon knight and then lastly if pip is paid off then this strange tales is going to take off because it already is starting to go up a little bit um actually a lot um because when i bought this i i thought i paid a little bit more than i, I should have but i just didn't want to miss that boat and um so yeah i, I you know i have a couple of these uh and Q coming in from CGC as well. So we'll be, you'll be seeing those soon. All right, so I guess that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please like, subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more of these unboxings because I have a big long queue of uh, books that are coming in from them. It, and there is a walkthrough and an express coming in as well. So stay tuned for those. All right guys, until next time, see ya.